Oh, hello there, <coughs> engineer Leonardo here. Well, on this video, I like to talk about uh, my favorite uh, books of fluid mechanics, um, both for basic level, intermediate, and advanced level. You can uh, see them as uh, basic in this case for undergraduate level and both intermediate and advanced for graduate level okay so when I took uh, undergraduate fluid mechanics class uh, one of the books that first uh, that in particular took my attention and helped me a lot to understand concepts and have plenty of good exercises and many, many exercises, a lot. Was uh, the book from White, okay, Frank White, Fluid Mechanics. Uh, it was another, an old edition, but I think most of it uh, remains very similar. Okay, so this is book. Uh, it's not a very easy book. There are more easier books on fluid mechanics for beginners uh, which don't get uh, many that don't uh, study concepts in depth as Frank White so perhaps if you're a beginner if you don't have if you have a poor um, a poor basis of uh, physics and calculus and advanced in mathematics and undergraduate mathematics in general, you may find this book uh, a little bit difficult. Okay, so it has a good review here, uh, about four or five stars, I guess, here in Amazon. I guess it's a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, star score. Okay. So now we have uh, Mechanics of Fluids by Potter and Wigger. It's very similar to White, but uh, it's a, I believe this is a book more focused for uh, civil engineer, civil engineering or construction engineering students who are taking uh, transport phenomena classes or fluid mechanics classes and thermodynamics. In general so its examples are more focused in hydraulics and later in the book you have uh, some captures nice captures on uh, open channel flow and water pipeline systems for water distribution system system uh, water distribution systems in cities and uh, on other topics like that, which are more on the more on the attribution of uh, civil engineering. Okay, so white is more broad, but focus a little more focus on uh, mechanical engineering, and uh, Potter and Wigger are more uh, civil engineering approach. Uh, this is also a book for under, undergraduate level, okay? So we have also uh, Sanjo and Simbala, uh, Fluid Mechanics. Also a book for under, undergraduate level. It has a lot of very nice illustrations, images, uh, which make uh, it's such a difficult topic like mechanics, uh, fluids or fluid mechanics, uh, much more easier to understand. It's concept. It's uh, it has a lot of text as well, more than usual, more vol volume of text than usual for a fluid mechanics book. And I believe its uh, its emphasis is uh, ad adequate for any engineering course you may be you may be, you may be studying. Okay. So uh, these three books were, were my favorite books as an undergraduate student, but the um, most that I used was the white. 
there are other books uh, for uh, emphasis in civil engineering uh, than Potter and Wigger, which is a book by Victor Streeter. Let me find here Streeter. Here. So this is also a per pretty good textbook for fluid mechanics. And it has a lot uh, on these later captures, uh, more content focus on the civil engineering problems. Uh, if you are a mechanical engineering or a chemical engineering student, uh, I guess you should should take a look on Fox. This is one of most favorite. Fluid Mechanics, Fox and McDonald's Introduction to Fluid Dynamics. Okay, so civil uh, mechanical engineering students uh, prefer this book because of its emphasis on. It has a ca uh, capture, two chapters dedicated to compressive flow. So you, if you are mechanical or chemical or other engineering alike. You may prefer this book. Okay, so these are, in my in my opinion, of course, the main uh, fluid mechanics textbook. Then now on the intermediate level, uh, we have this book here uh, by Kundu. It's a uh, Pijush Kundu, which is, uh, I believe, uh, it's an Indian. Uh, author and it's uh, pretty much similar to uh, undergraduate uh, textbook on fluid mechanics but it gets more a little bit uh, uh, it uh, in all its captures it gets more in depth of the of the topics okay uh, also, it has some captures on more advanced fluid mechanics like uh, turbulence, uh, turbulence modeling, I guess, some captures on numerical modeling, fluid, uh, fluid flow simulation, uh, capture about uh, stability, uh, fluid instability, and transition to turbulence. So it gets a uh, nice Besides being a good uh, introductory textbook on fluid mechanics, it gets a nice uh, introduction to more advanced topics such as transition to turbulence, uh, the turbulence itself, tur turbulent flow, the statistical description of turbulence, uh, fluid instability, and so and much more topics. Okay, so. If you are, if you uh, have already done uh, fluid mechanics uh, undergraduate course, this may be the a good next step to take in your studies of fluid mechanics. Okay. So similar to this book here, we have a book also by Frank White, which is Viscous Fluid Flow. Uh, also. Uh, it has some introductory uh, content on fluid mechanics, but it gets uh, it has some captures uh, concerning fluid instability, transition to turbulence, turbulence itself as a statistical description of turbulence. Uh, some some uh, more uh, in terms of mathematical formalism. It is more uh, rigor, rigorous. It's more uh, ac accurate in describing uh, some some of its content, uh, fluid mechanics knowledge in terms of mathematical description. Okay, so it's more concise mathematical description compared to uh, undergraduate uh, textbooks or it's uh, or the same book by the same author. Okay, so we have uh, fluid mechanics by Kundu and viscous fluid flow by White, 
which are good textbooks if you already done uh, undergraduate cars. So now we have a boundary layer theory, which is a more advanced textbook by Schlichting. It's uh, Hermann Schlichting. It's a German author. Uh, one it is uh, Schlichting. Schlichting is a very important uh, name in the field of fluid mechanics. It, it was one of the uh, the researchers that developed the boundary layer theory, uh, transition to turbulence, the stability of fluid flow, the development of stabilities. That you, if you already study something about some stuff about uh, transition to turbulence, you may have heard of Hermann Schlichting waves, uh, which are which are named before him. So basically this book here uh, describes the whole boundary layer theory. Uh, it has some nice introduction on uh, the formation, a very good physical explanation of how boundary layers are formed. So, and fluid flow in general. So after this introduction, it has some captures on laminar boundary layers, uh, heat boundary layers, Transition to turbulence. Uh, some some captures on uh, fluid instability, flow instability, and transition to turbulence. And of course, finally, uh, captures about uh, turbulent boundary layers. Okay, so this is a more advanced book if you are interested in fluid instability and boundary layer theory. Okay. And finally, this is one of my recommend my final recommendation. It's a book by Triton, Physical Fluid Dynamics. As it says in its name, its title, it's uh, a physical, a more physical view on fluid flow. It has a lot of text, a lot of images of uh, exper exper experiments on fluid flow. And it's good. Uh, it gives you a very nice insight on uh, how the physics behind fluid flow. It has a lot of discussion. It uh, points out a lot of uh, a lot of the physical mechanisms and what underlies uh, the flow of fluids. And it's good if you are experimentalist, also if you are uh, more focused on numerical simulation of fluids, but uh, also for experimentalists. And this is a book uh, where you get some uh, start point for learning how to describe and to understand uh, fluid flow and and how, and if you're if you're researching and writing a paper about some phenomena you are studying, it gives you an insight of how to describe and how to view this phenomena as a physicist and explain, in fact, the physics physics behind it. Okay, so for this video, I'll stop here. Uh, I hope you like my recommendations. If you have some of your own, please uh, please let me know you in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to leave your like and of course your feedback as always. Thank you very much.